everybody. Today we're going to do a vase um, for fall and we're not going to paint anything today. All we're going to do today is um, kind of concentrate on nature and aside from the can, most most things are from nature. Um, so you're going to start with a can and you're going to want to decorate it. We are going to wrap the can in rope and we will then embellish it with a little bit of ribbon um, I have an orange and a green here. Um, you're going to need your handy hot glue gun. Um, I have some acorn caps, which we're going to do a little um, project for that. And we're going to turn those into um, little bird's nests. I have a couple of little acorns. And I have um, some stones that kind of are in the shape of an egg. So we have that move this out of the way. Um, scissors you'll need to cut the rope. Um, hot glue, have an extra hot glue stick on hand. And let's get started. Um, the rope that I'm using you could get at probably any hardware store, um, possibly um, even like a big department store like a Walmart or um, big box store like that. And it's just a rough kind of a rope. And take your hot glue and be very careful because I've had my hot glue on for quite a while. Start at the bottom and just start pressing it in. Now I did clean and I ran the um, can through the dishwasher. Now the hot glue is going to heat up the can too so um, be very careful when you're doing this and, and be aware. So run it along the bottom and all you're going to do is wind your way up. And then when you when you get to the point where it, it meets then go ahead and just, um, you're going to start overlapping, whoops, get some of this other stuff out of my way. Um, you just start overlapping to the next, the next row and keep going around and around and around. Alright, when you get to the top um, and you're twisting it around, just keep going and it's going to go over the top a little bit here as you can see. Um, but keep putting the glue on there and go around until um, you cover all of the metal on the outside. And when you get to, let me twist this around, um, to the end where you're all covered with the metal, go ahead and take your scissors and cut it off. Okay. And then you're just going to adhere it right on there and then you're done with that part of it. So you got the can and now we need to embellish it. And I'm going to embellish it right um, right here. Right. The second part of what we're going to do is we want to make a couple of bird's nests. And the way we're going to do that, let me get this closer, is with the caps from the acorns. Um, I had thought about putting some acorns on there but the drought was really bad this year and I felt bad taking the acorns from the, um, the squirrels. So anyhow, we're going to have some Spangle mo moss, or Spanish moss, pardon me. Spanish moss, and just rip some off. You're not going to need it a whole lot. Rip it off, you can cut it off. There we go. And a bird's nest is, is usually pretty, um, pretty rough and organic. Um, all you're going to do is take some glue, throw it in there, and put some of the moss in there. Squish it down, and if you're afraid of getting the hot glue on your fingers, go ahead and use like the end of a marker or um, anything like that. So here it is. It's kind of hanging over quite a bit, so I'll trim it roughly around. And then I'm going to take these rocks um, that I selected, and I'm going to to glue a two in each nest. So, there we go. Put a dab in. There, and now they're surrounded by the moss and it looks like a little bird's nest. What I'm going to do is take a ribbon, um, an orange ribbon because it is fall, and this can stay out um, for Halloween and it can also stay out certainly for Thanksgiving. And all I'm going to do is tie it, and I'm tying it upside down because I'm trying to show you. 
And I'm going to get it in front of where the end is, or roughly where the end is. Tie it, get it the size that you want. And then just, I'm going to trim the ends long for now in case I want to make any changes after. Um, I'm going to just put the um, bird's nest on there. A little hot glue. And then I'll take two of the smaller acorns that I, or pine cones that I have, and glue it underneath to the side here, one on each side. And then when I feel like I've got everything the way I want it, I'll just give it a snip. And there you have it. Here it is. Um, it makes a cute little base. You could put dried flowers in there. But if you wanted to put wet flowers, um, I have a juice glass here that fits into it. Um, I could even use something a little bit larger. but. This fits right into it, so if I wanted to put some live flowers into it, I put water into the glass, and that way I don't have to wash out the can, and obviously the rope and the ribbon and everything won't get wet then. So you do that. Hope you give it a try. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.